Prosecutors drop rape charges against a popular Latino community activist. Instead, Tony Apias pleaded guilty to reduce charges, both misdemeanors. News for Utah's Marcus Ortiz first told you about this plea deal earlier in the week. Well, today it's official. The plea deal is a far cry from the original rape charge, but the county prosecutor told the judge that they could not prove it beyond reasonable doubt. Initially, I was, uh, it was a shock, obviously, um, you know, I, w I was concerned about it. But today, those rape charges against Tony Apias were dropped in favor of lesser charges. As to count one, tampering with evidence, a class A misdemeanor, have you pleaded? Guilty. And count two, unlawful attention, a class B misdemeanor, Guilty. The Davis County prosecutor told the judge the woman still maintains she was raped. Now I'm going to stay and stand by my story too. So, and uh, you know, I I I know how difficult it is for for her. It's just been just as difficult for me. But the rape charge had problems. Our concern just was, given the totality of all of the admissible evidence, um, we don't know that a unanimous jury would have believed that the sex was unconsensual when you hear the whole story. The victim was in the courtroom, and prosecutors told the judge she was in agreement with the plea bargain. Despite a different interpretation of what happened that night, Yapius offered her an apology outside the courtroom. I apologize. I, I wish you well. Uh, um, I obviously doesn't, you know, uh, something that we we didn't we didn't know it was going to happen. But I'm sorry for that. The county prosecutor says he plans to make public the problems with the rape case after sentencing at the Matheson Courthouse. Marcus Ortiz, News for Utah.